Hey guys, Missy Kitten here. So today I wanted to talk about um, basically social anxiety and social awkwardness because that's something I think everyone's gone through at least once in their life or they probably will go through if they haven't already because I think if you haven't gone through it already, you're probably going to meet someone who's going to end up making you feel a little awkward, probably because, you know, you have feelings for them, you're developing feelings for them, or anything like that, or they're just really intimidating. So, if you are like me, you just have social anxiety, and talking to anyone that you don't know or you barely know can be painful to I think that's the best way to put it because it it is and you want to be able to do it but you just can't you know you panic you freeze up and the words just don't come out we all end up having battles in our minds when we are talking to people like did I really just say that or what should I say? I'm I'm messing up. I am being completely stupid. We all have those arguments at least once in a conversation, I think. And I think the best way to kind of get through that is to basically practice with people. What I try to do is I will take someone that I probably will never have to deal with again in my life. For example, you know, just like store workers, I will try to talk to them and it's like if I mess up, it's not the end of the world. Even though my mind is telling me, you screwed up, you looked like the biggest idiot, you know, it's not the end of the world. Here's a good example. Um, after my knee surgery, I made a total fool of myself because of the anesthesia. I was asking my nurse all these questions and just saying a bunch of stupid stuff and my mind has been beating me up over this and I'm, I'm fighting my mind back like I pretty much had no control over what I was saying. I was so out of it that it just all came out and my mind still tries to beat me up for that saying, oh my gosh, you are so stupid. I can't believe you just did that. and. Living life like that, it's not fun. It really, really isn't. So it's important to take as many steps as you possibly can to get through this. I think no matter what, it's never going to be the end of the world. Unless, you know, you're, you're like president or something and you make a pretty big decision that is a stupid one because of your social anxiety, but Let's be honest, that will probably never happen to you. So I don't think that's something you have to worry about. You know, we all mess up, we all make mistakes, because we are a human being. And that's what makes us, as humans, beautiful. It really is. You know, we do have these fights in our heads, and they do tell us, you know, you just made yourself look like the biggest idiot. In a couple of days, this person is probably going to completely forget what you said. Even maybe in a couple of hours, they're going to forget about it. That's one thing you always, always have to remember, is it's not really the end of the world. It may feel like it in that moment, but it's really not. You know, you may miss opportunities by not talking to someone. You know, just... Take the time to talk to a stranger and practice on them. You know, I, to practice in a way, um, I always dye my hair. I like to play with my hair colors because that attracts attention. And I'm not doing it for like, hey, look at me, you know, ridicule me, you know, love me. It's basically saying, hey, if you like this, come say it. That way I can have someone to practice on. Because I think every time I've dyed my hair, I have had at least one person come up to me and be like, oh my gosh, how'd you get your hair like that? 
And that is a way I can force myself into a social situation and practice. And it really is a really good way to do it. You know, none of us want to walk up to a random person and do it. So let the person come to you. I have found that that works really well. You know, you go into your doctor's appointments, you know, if you're like me, I'm 18 and my mom still makes my doctor's appointments for me. My mom pretty much checks in for me and makes the appointments afterwards. We, she checks out for me. And I mostly just talk to the doctor and I let her talk to the nurses most of the time like, hey, what meds am I on? Mostly because I don't remember that stuff. But that's something I need to work on very badly. And I will admit that. I think admitting the problem is the first step. So in order to do that, we need to force ourselves into these social situations. And no matter, no matter what, you know, we're all going to end up having to do it at some point in our lives. I don't think we can all just be hermits forever. As much as some of us would love to, we can't. I have never been good with people. I don't think there has ever been a time where I was okay with talking to random strangers. And I'm sure a lot of that has to do with the creepy clown that chased me around when I was a little kid. That was not okay. That's not what you do to a little kid. You don't, you don't be a clown and you chase a kid around. You just don't. But, you know, I've... I've always been a really awkward person, and part of what I am doing here, part of making these videos, is kind of helping me to talk to you guys, to talk to people. I don't know if, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it feels like to me that the more I do this, the more I am being comfortable talking to you guys, even though I'm just talking to a camera, I still feel like I'm talking to people. I still feel like I have tons of eyes watching me when it's just me in my room talking to a camera. And occasionally my mom will walk by. Or my dad even, but it still makes me nervous, so I am putting myself into this situation and I think that's a really good way to deal with it. You know, whatever steps that you feel is necessary to help you learn to cope with this. I think it's definitely something you should take. But anyway, I think that is it for this video. My mouth is getting very dry. So I will leave it here and I will see you all next time.